Gas calculations in chemistry are pretty straightforward. In this video, I am going to introduce you to Avogadro's law and to the concept of molar volume, and then I'm going to run through a sample calculation. But first, let's start off by imagining a box full of gas molecules. As you can see from this little animation, the molecules are so far apart from each other that the actual size of an individual molecule has a negligible effect on the volume of space the gas occupies. So the volume of a gas depends only on the pressure and the temperature of that gas. And this idea was crystallized by Avogadro, is now known as Avogadro's law. Equal volumes of gases, and it's irrelevant what the actual gas is, it could be carbon dioxide or oxygen or nitrogen monoxide or a gaseous hydrocarbon. Equal volumes of gases at constant temperature and pressure contain equal numbers of molecules. And we can use this to define a molar volume. A molar volume. And a molar volume for any gas is the volume occupied by one mole of that gas. And there are two molar volumes that you need to know. The first one is at standard temperature and pressure. So that's known as STP. And at standard temperature and pressure, the temperature is zero degrees C. So that's 273 Kelvin. The pressure is one atmosphere, which corresponds to 101 kilopascals. And under these conditions, one mole of any gas occupies 22.4 decimeters cubed of space. The second molar volume that we need to be aware of is that at room temperature and pressure. So that's known as RTP, R standing for room. And in this case, the temperature is 25 degrees C, so that's 298K. And the pressure obviously remains at one atmosphere, or 101 kilopascals. And in that case, the molar volume is 24.0 decimeters cubed. So what we're saying is that if I've got one mole of any gas at 298K and 101 kilopascals worth of pressure, it will occupy a space of 24.0 decimeters cubed. So let's look at a sample calculation. What volume of carbon dioxide is produced when 2.8 grams of methane reacts fully in oxygen at room temperature and pressure? So the first thing we need to appreciate that we're working at RTP. So the molar volume is 24.0 decimeters cubed. Okay, so let's start with a balanced equation. Methane is reacting with oxygen. And of course, that is going to form carbon dioxide and water. What do I know? I know that I've got 2.8 grams of methane. I need to know the number of moles. So moles equals mass divided by molar mass. And the molar mass of methane is 16 grams per mole. So it's going to be 2.8 divided by 16. And that comes to 0.175 moles. Now I can see from my balanced equation that one mole of methane will produce one mole of carbon dioxide. But of course, I haven't got one mole of methane. I've just figured out I've got 0.175 moles of methane. So the number of moles of carbon dioxide produced is 0.175. So what would that be as a volume? Well, I know that one mole of carbon dioxide is going to occupy 24 decimeters cubed. So all I need to do is scale it down. So 0 0.175 times 24.0, and that will come to be 4.2 decimeters cubed. So that is the volume of carbon dioxide I will produce. In this case, my answer is in decimeters cubed. Of course, if you wanted it in centimetres cubed, then it would be 24,000. So 24,000 centimetres cubed is equivalent to 24 
decimeters cubed. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can use the concept of molar volume to find the formula of a hydrocarbon from combustion data, which is a slightly more complicated type of exam question based on the same ideas. If this has been useful, hit the subscribe button, the effortless way to support your studies. And by clicking the link in the blurb below, it will take you straight to the Crunch Chemistry School, where you'll find all the resources you need to get that A-star grade at A-level. Together we can do this.